This man put out a whole knife on him. Like, bro, he could at least shot out some fireballs or something. Like, at, why you had to use a knife, bro? Like, Hyper beams the cargo that's ship. That's all I'm saying. And then steals it. You heard me right. He Just blasts it. the thing point blank and takes it away. What is up, everybody who's watching this video right now? Today, we're going to be reacting to the darkest Pokemon game you never play. The full video will be in description. I give credit to all the people I react to. But no further ado, hit that like button and please subscribe. Man, let's go. I've played a lot of Pokemon in my days. And by that, I mean I've played the same Pokemon game with various different skins. But I'm here today mm -hmm. to showcase one of, if not the most unique ideas for a Pokemon game Nintendo has published for our tiny little hearts. And that game is called Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Aye, aye, I want to see this. A bit unfortunate but it came out in 2005 so they get a pass why am i talking about it i think it's an underground game not enough people know about it does something different kind of shakes up the formula it's constantly overshadowed by its predecessor pokemon coliseum and yeah. yeah okay i played it as a kid i'm very biased is that what you wanted if you've not <laughs> we just want to say yeah you played the game as a, as a kid okay so you are biased about it okay heard of it or played it you're in for a treat today. The game opens up to a cargo boat, the SS Libra, out at sea, where That's we find nice the boat. captain and guy who steers standing at the helm. All is calm and serene when suddenly they get swatted. And Dang. it's not no ordinary SWAT today, folks. No, sir. This is a Lugia SWAT. They run Lugia out to see what's SWAT. going on, and the captain looks up and makes this face as if he wants to kiss Lugia passionately on the lips. But <laughs> Lugia is not here for kisses. He's here for the opposite of kisses. Which is crime. He This man put out a whole knife on him. Like, bro, he could at least shot out some fireballs or something. Like, at, uh, why you had to use a knife, bro? Like, Hyper beams the cargo that's ship. That's all I'm saying. And then steals it. You heard me right. He Just blasts it. the thing point blank and takes it away. Lugia's ship now. The presumably only two people on the entire boat fall into the water and are left to just drown in the ocean, I guess. Was this supposed to be well, Titanic? Well, that was a bit... Was this supposed to be Titanic Part 2? Because he said drown in a... This don't even go good. A big old ship, two people drown in the ocean. Raw? What are we, a minute in and two people are dead? Gen 10 could never. Hard cut to me because that's more important. You play as this boy kid named Michael, but actually his name is Jaden now because that's me. The game throws you into the middle of this intense looking fight between a Salamence and Metagross, both level 50. I don't know where I level am, 50. what the stakes are, who I am, but this battle seems really important and tough, so I'm gonna give it my all and immediately Oko it. I did it! Screen goes black. I open my eyes, everything's blurry. Wake, Wake up, Jaden, you've been, been in a coma for 15 years. years. Turns out I live in a friendly laboratory run by this Professor Crane and his lab guys. I get up and the guy running the battle simulation tells me how good of a battler I've become. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Then he immediately negs me by telling me it's about time I go out and get myself more Pokemon besides my one lame <laughs> Eevee. Backhanded compliment at a child, but... I'll take it, I think. I go into Crane's office where him and my mom are talking, and he says he heard from the battle coach that my battling skills have improved dramatically, and how proud he is of me. To which my own mom tells him to stop giving me compliments and praise because I'm gonna end up spoiled rotten. I don't know what- Hey, parents always do that. When someone wanna give them good compliments on their kid, they're like, man, stop. They're getting jealous. I remember they were jealous. That's what it is, y'all, in, in the comments right now. What do y'all think? Mother, jealous of mother in the comments, y'all kind of a response that is to a child receiving praise. Either I'm already a cocky little bastard or I'm being <laughs> currently emotionally neglected by everyone in this building. Whatever it is, I don't think it's healthy for my mental development. True. To make this mother look even worse, we realize her only other child, Jovi, is missing and no one is looking for her. The world is only filled with overpowered wild rabbit animals and crazy people. No, I'm sure it's fine you haven't started looking for her. Keep doing what you're doing. I get a lead saying she really likes hanging out with family friend mad scientist Dr. Kaminko, so I head over to his house and I'm about to knock on his she creepy door when house. this tiny little blind man, Chobin, the doctor's tiny assistant, walks man. up and mm. is like, BURGLAR! and challenges me to a battle, to which I win because he only has a level 5 sunkern. Dovey comes- uh, Only a level 5 sunkern? <laughs> she pulled up to the house to- and this, this dude said, uh, burglar and got a L, right? Caught the worst L. Out and it's like, oh, hi, big brother. It's Jovi. Did you get lost, big brother? Silly big brother. Jovi will guide you back home. <laughs> 
All right, I see why no one was looking for it now. We return home to the lab and they present me with a snag machine, a machine that allows the user to catch shadow Pokemon, which are Pokemon that have been so abused that they turn evil. Pokemon now, they're saying they haven't seen or heard of any shadow Pokemon that exist anymore because they've all been purified years ago, but who knows when they could start popping up again. Uh -huh. Better be safe than sorry. Bam, some guys from a secret organization called Cypher bust into the lab, beat everyone. He spoke that to a zesty. He said, you never know when they go bust in the lab. And now these freaking futuristic bots come in trying to terrorize the whole entire thing, man. Run up, steal Professor Crane, show off their shadow Pokemon, and run off to their secret base to never hey, be seen stuff again. Stuff them in a van, bro. Well, I'll be. The lab is in shambles, <laughs> not well, knowing what too. to do, but then decides they're gonna complete their purification chamber in his honor because shadow Pokemon are back and they want to do something about it. They send me off to this seaside town Gadion port to retrieve a machine part they need, and Joby pesters our mom to come with because Joby doesn't think I can handle going out on my own, and Joby <laughs> needs to hold my hand and guide her big brother the whole way. Okay, not only does this little snot talk in the third person for no reason, maybe our mom didn't care enough to get get us any education. Perhaps wow. she was worried the teacher would give us a compliment, heaven forbid. But she's also the she most like annoying compliments. character I've ever witnessed in any media. And I've watched an episode of My Hero Academia with a grape kid in it. We go to Gaddion Port and not two seconds pass until Jovi pisses off this random guy, Zook, who happens to be the big. buffest man in the world. He's about to I ain't gonna lie. I, that's why I said, but that bit was big already. I don't know what she was doing. She, she made the wrong person mad, man. You should have knew not to step place to that man. And look, choking him like a freaking chicken, like... Man. The punter, and I'm about to do nothing about it. When this old She's man and his color-coded henchmen step in and obliterate his shadow Zangoose. Old man, I was about to be free of everything that is bad in my life. And you took that away from me. We get the part, head back, and what mom tells me about this you, spot in Agate up. Village called the Relic Stone where you can naturally purify Pokemon. I don't know why you're making your Pokemon own purifying you chamber uh. then when there's a rock that already does that. I go to Agate and this very enthusiastic man with a Pikachu shows me the stone and I'm like, cool. To which he's like, by the way, my friend Vander might know where Cypher took Crane. Oh. Okay. I go talk to Vander and he points to this random spot in the desert on my map and is like, Oh, they're right here. I saw them. What <laughs> were you doing out there? That's literally just sand. <laughs> well, would you look at that? A headquarters. Huh. I start infiltrating the base, battling all the grunts that fall from- What? She just literally pulling up to anybody's base and just battling at this point. She's prepared. got the Pokemon thing in her hand. Like, she's like, I'm pulling up to anybody. I'm on site the ceiling, snagging any shadow Pokemon I find, until I reach Pink Hatsune Miku, who's trying to get information out of Crane about purifying shadow Pokemon. I battle her and win, which means I get her. to unkidnap him, and while heading out, I find this data ROM on the ground. Huh, this seems very important hmm. and like it has a lot of secret information about Cypher on it. Convenient. Crane returns to the lab and everyone's happy, and then they send me to Pyrite Town to find Ned, a guy Pyrite that Town. should be able to crack the ROM and access all the information on it. So I head there and he's like, yeah, we can crack this, smile. While he's hacking it, I go out and play around in a random cave and run into Mirror B. This guy doesn't Mirror do B. much in this game, honestly, but I just want to make sure you know he exists and mm. listen to his music. Hey, hey. Okay. I'm jamming today. This is music, right? Hey. I go check on hmm. Ned again, and Cypher's bust in, beat everyone up, and kidnapped another person. That's what she get. I literally knew something was gonna happen. As soon as she leave the the place, then that's when something epic happens. Why would you do that? Thought it was all cool and smooth. Like, oh, this man's finna hack for me. Now I'm gonna go get a pizza. Look what happens now. Have you guys min maxed how to kidnap people or something? You're two for two at this point and are scarily efficient at it. They tried a hostage situation, the data ROM back, and even though I beat up this big man and take all his shadow Pokemon, okay. Net still <laughs> wusses out and gives up. the ROM back. He thought he was being two steps ahead because he saved all the information on his server already, but Cypher just logs on and deletes everything anyway. Ah, uh, he thought because he saved it, he logs on and deletes it? Man. Net says the only thing he remembers from the ROM was that Cypher was behind the disappearance of the SS Libra, and they're about oh, to attack this city nearby called Fennec, and someone needs to go warn them. 
Is I guess I'm just Mr. Scooter across the desert and save everyone today, aren't I? I head to Fennec to warn the mayor about the attack, and as soon as I arrive, this lady hits me with a confetti cannon, congratulates me on being the millionth visitor to the city, and shoes me away to celebrate at Real Gam Tower. I try to get around. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, she's trying to save the day. Now she won because she's a million visitor. Slowing her down. I'm gonna, I will have to fight her, bro. I'm trying to save people's lives. You trying to strike me? Because this is important, but she's determined to gatekeep me no matter what I do. So I just go there and realize she literally sent a child to illegally gamble his life away. Gamble. Wow! No one in this region likes children, do they? After not being able to figure out how to play bingo, I head back, sneak into the mayor's house, distract his house sitter with music, and find out the mayor was trying to write a note to Justy, the city's gym leader, warning him about the cipher attack. I don't know why the mayor was trying to ask this random gym guy to help, but he was kidnapped halfway through writing it, so I guess it doesn't matter. Cypher realizes I now know what's up, and everyone in town reveals themselves to be disguised cipher grunts. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, that's all cypher? What the? I was not expecting that. God, they kidnapped the entire town. The whole I don't town. care what kind of organization you're from. If you can successfully kidnap a village, you've earned my respect. Yeah, I beat true. up Cypher, rescue their shadow Pokemon, and free literally everyone in the town who is locked in the city basement. Justy says he saw city something basement? suspicious <laughs> going on in the desert and points to another random sand spot on my map I should go investigate. Honestly, how are all these people just stumbling onto these shenanigans in the middle of the desert? And why are they able to give the latitude longitude of these locations after finding them? This has got to be like tens of miles out from any sort of civilization. This is where people run out of gas in their car and then shrivel up and die before anyone can find them. That is true though. You run out of gas in the desert, bro. You just gonna die, bro. Just overheat and stuff like that. Why were you here? Wow. Yep. That's the cargo ship. How did you find this? All right, what is so enthralling about this desert that crime and vigilante justice is constantly going on in every square inch of this place? Mm -hmm. Cypher's running around on the ship, and after I take their shadow Pokemon and chase them out, this group of strangers calling themselves Team Snagum oh, walks up and up. roofies me. I wake up, realize they stole my snag machine. This random old man who just started living in the wrecked wow. boat said he saw them head off in that direction and points to the middle of nowhere on my map again. You people are beyond me. Oh, I show up and wow, another headquarters for crime. I make my way to their head honcho, Gonzap, who's trying to put on my snack. I keep saying her. I, I, I don't know if it's Jaden, a guy. I don't know her because I swear that you just said he at the beginning. I'm sorry, bro. I need to like pay attention sometimes. I am actually paying attention, but I always mess up on certain things. But whole snack machine is just going, just finessed. Mag machine, but he's too big and muscular and adult. And since I am a child, it does not fit on his giant muscle arm. He pretty much gives up, asks if I want to join Team Snagum. I say yes, but he fights me anyway. And after mm. I beat him, he's like, actually, you can have your arm thing back. We're not enemies. Hey. Awesome. So why am I here? You drugged me, stole my stuff, Whoa. and then just called friendship and gave it back. I find Cypher's shadow Pokemon factory and walk up to the actual biggest men I've ever seen in the world. How naive I was to think Zook was big. Foolish me. Those anyway, they're about big. to beat me TF up when Gonzap shows up, expresses his devotion to our newly blossoming friendship, and roofies them for me. That roofie be hidden like, hey. I wouldn't want to get hit with that roofie, then. man. I may, that, man, you over get finesse out of anything. Thanks, man. You're really consistent at that. I go inside and climb to the roof where their power generator is. There's a tiny little piece of paper there that says, Use system lever to adjust voltage. Do not raise voltage too high. Mm -hmm. Crank! A guy comes out and starts yelling at me with his Pokemon when the tiny old man who accidentally ruined my life in Gadion Port comes on screen and is like, I'm evil and creating a Pokemon that's unpurifiable. Come wow. get me. This is my IP address. I need to cross the ocean to get to him. Do I need to go back to the IP address? And... Hey, put that down. Write that down right now, y'all. Oh, yeah. Go screenshot that. Go go hack into that. They'll go to the IP address right there. Everybody in the comments. Write down a... Everybody comment the IP address right now. IP address. I need to cross the ocean to get to him because he's basically on evil Hawaii. So I take this Robo Kyogre from Kaminko, speedboat my way there, and you guessed it, 
fight everyone in the building slash volcano fight until everyone? I get to the big little man. After fighting an entire country's hey, worth of trippy. people, I find him. His name's Grievel, by the way. Grievel? And he's like, I'm surprised you made it this far. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'm busy. Don't bother me. And Is the person named Grievel just to prove that they evil? Uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. Blocks me with a giant pane of glass. Honestly, out of all the fictional villains I've seen, this is surprisingly decently reasonable. But I'm not gonna just sit here and stare at him behind the glass like a goldfish at PetSmart. So I just mm -hmm. walk around and use the side door, which really Smart. sets him off. <laughs> I mean, dude, either lock the door or don't have it. This is just what doors do. Grievel's yeah. like, you blew up our shadow Pokemon factory. You got past wow. my glass. That's it. I'm summoning Shadow Lugia, the oh, first Pokemon back. to ever be unpurifiable. Like Come forth and obliterate this small boy. To which I just master. Okay, it is a boy now. Now I know it's a boy now, obviously. Now, I don't like, now, it, it, that didn't even work at all. Look at his face. He's like, how? Ball it. Really overlooked that one, didn't you, mate? He may not be purifiable, but he's mine now. <laughs> Huge L. Rebo <laughs> gets so Hell beyond pissed comments. that he decides to open his creepy eyes and fight me himself. And I was surprised to realize not only does he have a he's team bold. of all shadow Pokemon, but he somehow nabbed Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Wow. I'll be honest, it was a really, really hard fight because shadow Pokemon are super effective against all non-shadow Pokemon. Yeah. I don't know how it took me this long to tell you that, but that's how it works. Mm. So instead of trying to catch them all like I've been doing this whole time, I really just beat them up and they ran away. So I win! <laughs> Cypher has officially lost everything and it's all because of me, the little yeah. boy. Blue Henchman runs up boy. to Grievel and is like, Sir, mm. I have a plan. Let's blow up the island with the kid on it. Let's blow up the island with the kid on it. You you messed up in the head. You got it. Why are you trying to destroy a kid? Like, wow. She's like, oh my God. And then Red Henchman is like, okay, that's a bit too far, man. Dad, let's go home. Yeah, they pulled the I'm your father slash son twist on us, mm -hmm. but it has very little effect on me because I do not care about these people. Anyway, no. they decide to not blow up the island with me on it and mm -hmm. stop being evil, I think. Wow. I'm like 60% sure. And then happy ending, I just go home. So what do you think? <laughs> For some reason, I really liked the game as a kid. I never actually beat it because I didn't know how to get past the gatekeeping woman in Fennec. Glad I figured it out this time. I also wanted to mention how lively the animations are in this game. Sure, yeah. some of the Pokemon look god awful. They gave Houndor human knees that bend forward, but they're all just <laughs> so expressive and show so much care and personality. So it may be pretty sad the current games don't show this much passion, but I guess that's just what makes these games more cherishable. Yeah. Anyway, the game was fun and weird. I liked it. See ya. Hey, uh, it's been a while. Anyway, this game also is like all double battles, and I double thought that battles. was really interesting. I'd like that to happen again in a new game. Yeah. Um, nothing else really to say. That was nice, though. Shout out to the channel, man. Jaden Animation. Go subscribe to the channel. Also, go subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Man, I feel like Jaden Animation didn't drop in so long. But I love you guys. Let's aim for a 1,000 likes on this video. And I appreciate everyone who watched this video. Tell me what was the best... Uh, part of this video and I love you guys. Let's get out of here. Let's go